Welcome to Remath. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC and this uh, circle with a center O put together as you can see in this given diagram. And moreover, uh, this uh, chord uh, EC is uh, equal to this uh, chord BC and this chord BC is being represented by X units. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AD is 4 units whereas uh, this other segment uh, CD is uh, 5 units and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and, and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular CF on this uh, chord EB as you can see. And as a result, we got these uh, two right triangles, uh, this uh, right triangle uh, EFC and the other right triangle uh, BFC then we can uh, see that uh, these two right triangles uh, EFC, the other triangle BFC are uh, our congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, congruent, so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, EF is going to be equal to this side length BF. That means both uh, are equal in length. Let's assume that this uh, segment EF is lowercase m, then this uh, BF segment is going to be lowercase m as well. And moreover, we are going to label uh, this perpendicular CF as uh, lowercase uh, height h. And finally, this segment uh, AE, we are going to label it uh, as uh, lowercase uh, t. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BFC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is x. And our two other legs are lowercase m and lowercase uh, h. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, m square plus uh, h square equal to x square. I'm going to label this equation as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, other triangle uh, AFC. And we can see it's this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase h. And this uh, side length uh, AF is going to be m plus t. I can write uh, m plus uh, t over here. And furthermore, uh, this uh, other side length uh, is going to be 4 plus 5 that is going to make uh, 9 units and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well and here is our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 9 and our two other legs are uh, m plus t and lowercase uh, h so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, m plus t whole uh, square plus lowercase uh, h whole square equals to 9 square and now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore we can write uh, m square plus uh, 2mt plus uh, t square plus uh, h square equals to 81 and now we are going to rearrange. I'm going to put these uh, m square and h square together. So therefore we can write uh, m square plus uh, h square plus uh, 2mt plus uh, t square equals to 81. And now let's make an observation from equation 1. We know m square plus h square equals to x square so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this part uh, by x square over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced uh, this uh, m square plus uh, h square by x square over here i'm going to label this one as our equation number two 
and now let's recall the secant uh, secant theorem according to this theorem we got these uh, two secant lines uh, ap and cp and they meet each other at this external point uh, p and furthermore we got these uh, segments uh, ab and uh, bp and likewise uh, this segment uh, cd and this segment uh, dp then according to this uh, secant secant uh, theorem this uh, whole uh, segment uh, ap right here times uh, this segment uh, bp which is right here equals to this uh, whole uh, segment uh, cp right here times uh, this uh, smaller segment uh, dp that is over here so thus our this secant secant theorem turns out to be ap times bp equals to cp times uh, segment dp and we are going to apply this uh, secant secant theorem on this given problem before we go any further let's uh, focus on this uh, whole code uh, eb that is going to be m plus m is going to give us uh, 2 times m so therefore we are going to apply this secant secant theorem uh, on this problem so we got uh, this segment uh, t i'm going to write down over here times uh, this whole uh, segment is going to be 2m plus t so i can write uh, 2m plus t equals to and here we got uh, this uh, 4 so i can write down 4 times this uh, whole uh, segment uh, that is going to be 4 plus 5 that is going to give us uh, 9 over here and now let's go ahead and multiply by distribution so therefore we are going to get uh, 2 times uh, mt plus uh, t square equal to 36 on the right hand side and i'm going to label this one as our question uh, number 3 and now let's focus once again on this equation 2 and here i have copied down equation 2 over here and now let's make an observation from equation 3 we know 2 times mt plus t square equals to 36 and we are going to substitute that value over here 2 times mt plus t square i'm going to replace it by 36 uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced uh, this uh, part by 36 uh, over here and now we are going to subtract uh, 36 uh, from both uh, sides and here we can see this uh, positive 36 and negative 36 they are gone so therefore uh, x square value turns out to be 45 and now i am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our uh, x value turns out to be simply if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 3 times square root of 5 uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the value of uh, x uh, turns out to be 3 times square root of 5 uh, units and that is going to be approximately equal to 6.71 units as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.